The Small Arms Survey Trade Update 2017, entitled Out of the Shadows, provides data and analysis on the authorised small arms trade uh, for the year 2014. We also provide an overview of the level of transparency of the major and top small arms exporters for 2014 too. So we provide information on the authorised trade, how much it's worth, who are the major players, who's involved, where are those weapons going to, and whether we should be concerned about the destinations for some of these um, items. In addition, we're also looking at how open start states are with, with regards to what they're exporting, what types of weapons they are, where they're going to, when they were delivered, and what level of detail they provide that enables us to make an assessment about whether they're fulfilling their international obligations and providing weapons that will increase security and not increase st instability, conflict, and violations of international humanitarian law and human rights. In this year's uh, report, we're focusing on the imports for particular regions around the world during the period 2001 to 2014. So we're looking at the level of small arms imports in Africa, uh, Asia and uh, the Pacific, Europe and the Americas. And we're also having a particular focus on the least transparent exporters. So we're looking at states that don't like to put that much information out about their activities. We're trying to shine a light on what they're doing and highlight some transfers that we believe might be of concern. In that regard, we're looking at Iran, North Korea, Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates, and a state that did have a bad reputation for transparency, but has recently really increased it, South Africa. In terms of the headline data, we estimate that the value of the small arms trade in 2014 was worth roughly six billion US dollars. Um, the US was the largest exporter in 2014, with exports of just over one billion, followed by Italy with exports just under 700 million, and Brazil with exports just under 600 million. And this is the first time that Brazil has broken through that 500 million um, dollar barrier. So it's quite a significant year for Brazil small arms exports. And a lot of that is based upon military firearms exports, which again is quite a significant category for peace and conflict implications in our perspective. Switching to the other side, we have the US as the largest uh, arms importer. It's, it's been there consistently for many years. However, we recorded the first time there's been a decline in the value of small arms imported by the US from 2.5 billion in 2013 to 2.2 billion in 2013. Um, we also see uh, Canada, another major North American importer, in second place, and followed by Indonesia, which has had quite a remarkable increase in its imports in recent years. We also note a significant increase in the value of imports by Iraq. Saudi Arabia is also a major importer. So again, as last year, we're looking at the Middle East as a, an area of significant levels of small arms imports, and obviously with implications for peace, conflict, and, and instability in that region. So one part of the, the trade update is the transparency barometer, which assesses the transparency and openness of top and major small arms exporters. So here we're looking at how much information they make available for the public to assess um, their small arms exports, where they're going to, and what types of recipients we're talking about. The Transparency Barometer for 2017 looks at data released in 2014, and here we have Germany as the most transparent exporter, followed by Switzerland, the Netherlands, and Serbia. Overall, we've seen a slight increase by about half of the states that we cover, that's roughly 50 states, have increased their Transparency Barometer score between 2013 and 14. Around a third have declined in that period, um, and we have a number of states that have zero points in, in our ranking. And there we have Iran, Israel, North Korea, United Arab Emirates, and Saudi Arabia. And as I mentioned, several of these states are countries which we're really focusing on in this year's Out of the Shadows report to try and get a better sense of what can be found in other open sources. Information not provided by these states, but by other states, by uh, investigators, by the media, and by other research organisations, as well as the survey's research itself, to try and find out where the small arms are going. And, and we really regard these states, despite the fact they're not very open, to be significant contributors to the international small arms trade, and in particular, in some cases, to places where there's a high risk of those items being diverted or misused in conflict and human rights violations.